Hello and welcome to Tim's Bits and Pieces. I will be showing you model train tips and tricks, layout build, new items for the layout, repairs and servicing of locos and rolling stock, 3D prints as well as four wheel drive repairs, DOA projects and much more. So grab a drink, a bite to eat, sit back and enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave your comments. Let's get on with it. Hello and welcome to another episode. It's a bit cold up here in the front room today, so um, be short and sweet, I say. <laughs> Alright, we have a box. I've just pre-opened it. I don't know what's in it. But looks like we've got... Somebody's been um, shredding some paper, by the looks of that. Alright, we'll move this over so we have, can get to it. And hang on, I'll just find a container to put it in. I'll be back. Alright, so I'm back. Alright. First one. More. Something orangey yellow. Let's have a look. This is more that another lot of stuff that I've bought off eBay that I um, haven't opened yet, so we'll open it up and have a look and see what we've got, shall we? Bounce. Oh, it's a little fuel shell wagon. I'd say a triangle or something by the looks of it. Early model with those couplings. There you go, shell lubricating. Shell lubricating oil, possibly. Hasn't got the top on it. Not a bad little wagon though. That comes in handy. Oh, the wheel's broken. I just noticed. Look. Have you noticed the um, actual wheel? See there? See the crack in the wheel? So that wheel's actually plastic broken. Oh, yeah, you can see it's all broken in here as well. Only there's broken. Not really fussed, but um, yeah. A shame but anyway I do have wheels and the, but the only hiccup with these early trying ones are these are the ones that have the full axle pin see if I move this wheel you might be able to see it but see how that pin moves up and down see how the pin moves as I move the wheel from the other side you see the pin moves up and down I don't know if you can get it on that Oh, yeah, you can get it there, see? As I move it, the whole pin moves, which is, that's the axle. That is the whole axle, but the wheels rotate separate, but, that, but they're also combined, so to get those out are a bit of a bummer sometimes, but, um, yeah, anyway, not a bad little wagon. We'll see what's next. I remember this lot, this is a bulk lot, there's um, a fair few in this one, so this should be good. And we have... little wagon yep see they've all got the old hooks see trying made in England there's a crack in the bottom of the tray you can see all the way across here the line that goes all the way across see it there all the way through so this is some old trying stuff that I bought it's had a drop of glue on it by the looks of it to hold the the body onto the chassis again. I like this old stuff. It's fun. Alright, next one. The only hiccup with all this little bubble wrap is it takes you a while to find out where they start and tape it. Oh, I've got another shell wagon. And this is in silver. 
This looks to be built in three separate sections. Look at that. You've got a section there, section there, and section there. And you can see somebody's had a go at gluing it. All the glue there and there and there. Bit of glue up here, around in there. So I dare say that this has come apart at some stage and they've glued it all back together because there's more glue there and there and there. So um, definitely the top's come apart at some stage. And this has got the D couplings on it, the Hornby D couplings. Next one, well, this is a little one. I'd say this is just a flat wagon by the looks of this. Hmm. I'm doing very good with this bubble wrap today, am I? There we go. Yep, little flat wagon. Oh, it's one of the ones that has the um, two pieces up for the crane, I'd say. Without the pieces on it. Made in England, it says down the bottom there. Little Hornby one, I'd say. Yep, and it actually says crane something. Crane something there, I can't read it. Crane something, but anyway. But yeah, this is part of a crane. That's what I thought, because it's the, the holder when the arm of the crane, or the boom of the crane comes down. So that's what that one is. Alright, next one. I try to keep my bubble wrap, so when I'm opening these up, I um, tend to do a little bit eat carefully. There we go, it's a cattle wagon for horses or cattle of some description. It's got a small crack on the corner there. I don't know if you can see it, if you can see it there, just along there. Oh, yeah, that's better, you can see it there, all the way down there. It's got a small piece broken off here. I'm not fussed about some of that sort of stuff. But definitely somebody's been at it with a bit of glue because they've got the residue all over here, you can see. And that says underneath, that says Made in Great Britain, R016060. And then it says Hornby Railway. So that's one of the early Hornby ones. Um, the coupling's missing there, but that's not... A, problem because I'll be changing these over anyway but uh, not a bad little wagon I use this blade because it's not I know it's not really really sharp but it's not as sharp as the rest as they say. <laughs> Here's another little wagon. WI005 12 tonner. Made in England. I don't know why it's, look somebody scratched all the underside of that. Don't know why they've done that and scratched across where it says made in England. Look at that, isn't that weird? Why would you bother scratching all that out? Anyway, it's one of the older ones again with the older couplings. And that'll be a metal frame with the metal pins for the wheels. So, yep. And we have another one, another brown looking item, shall we say. And it is a passenger wagon. K 
carriage. That'll match the um, one with, with the last week's video with those red wagons that I had. So that, that'll be just nice. And you can see it's got metal wheels, brass there, with plastic there. It's got brass there with plastic. And that's, look, once again you can see this was a set of bogies that had the big long coupling arm for the coupling on it and they've been changed over to KDs because you can see where they've cut it off here. You can see exactly where it's been cut. And there's a lot of um, a lot of glue or something all over the bottom. I'd say it's glue by the looks of it. All over there, all over there, everywhere. So yeah, uh, but anyway. I think this is from the same pe person that I bought the last lot from, but if I remember correctly. So that'll be nice. That'll go with the last lot. And big metal wheels when you put it on the track. I'll have one one side and one the other side. Not that it really matters because this is not going to light up anyway because there's no wires going into the wagon. All right. Next one. Something rattling. Something rattling. I can hear it rattling away. Sometimes you just want, you know, like on some of the packets it says tear here. <laughs> That'd be handy, wouldn't it? Oh, metal bouncing around inside that. And we've got container wagon. Containers loose with the metal bouncing around on the inside. It's an ITEL container. You can see it's been glued and it's come off, so I'll have to open that up anyway to fix that. And you can see where the glues, they've glued it on, but it hasn't stuck. Possibly because it's not flat, because that's not flat there, that's not flat there. And if you put that on top, none of it is flat. So I'll have to look at that. It doesn't even match up. Don't know. Big line across there, possibly that way. Big line across there, but that's further that way. Two there, one there, no. That doesn't match up. Don't know. Oh, hang on, here we go. Two there, one there, there we go. Two there, there we go. Two there and one there, she goes that way. Or it has been sitting that way. It's, um, that's not very flat at all, so whoever's done that hasn't done a very good job. But I'd say that's a piece of metal and that's two pieces of plastic because that looks like metal it looks like one of the metal weights with the holes in it that are on the inside of wagons but anyway plastic wheels with KDs the um, artificial KDs I oh, know it's proper KDs because it's got the spring there but I'd say the springs had it they're not pushing it back and they've clipped the bottom of the if you see here the pin the pins actually pushed all the way up here if you can see it I'll try and get it a bit better but if you see here the pins pushed right up here pins oh, how do we get that the pin has been cut off and you can see there, oh, just there, the pin's sticking up the top of part. So, um, yeah, somebody's done a job on this. But anyway, it's all good. It's all usable. And I don't remember if that was in the instructions or the destructions or the details. I can't remember whether it was talked told about that oh look I can see two containers by the looks of that so this is another flat wagon with containers on it open this carefully so they don't fall off nothing falls off again so yeah, this is similar to that other wagon with the containers and they're permanent. I'd say this wagon would 
come with those containers on whereas the other one doesn't um, it's a newer version and it's a PMCO P if you can see just here PEMC PEM PEMC O or I and it says made made in Hong Kong but anyway but yeah see the same couplings and that's what cut with the KDs with the KDs so that's not a bad looking wagon actually so yeah but I dare say that's what they've tried to do with that all right so we've got some more of this so let me just get rid of this lot okay we've got rid of all of that so we're back so this one looks like I'd say another passenger wagon I shouldn't say passenger wagon should I I should say passenger carriage Yep, that's another one similar to the other lot. So that's good. So I've got a few of these now. I've got a bit broken here. The handrail's broken. If you can see there. I won't move it now, but that's damaged. They're, so they've um, dropped the height of the KD when they fit it. They've got two little red tags on there underneath. A bit of spacing. Got a missing wheel. No, just the wheels come out. What have we got there? Something red there. Something in between. Paint. Something. Oh, no, it's an animal. It's one of those um, beetles. Not the music type. Ha uh ha. -huh. There we go. Wheels back in. Wheel spins again. Ready to spin for another day. So that's moved. That's all right. That's moved again. See when they pack. Sometimes when people pack them, they move. But that's not a big issue. That's all right. So that's 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 all good. We've got a slight breakage here. Under there, if you can have a look, see my finger. That's a slight break. That's not a big problem. Someone's very heavy handed with the paint, with the silver and the red paint. So I'd say whoever's had this is the same person that's had those other carriages in the other video, definitely, because the silver is very heavy handed and so is the red paint. So, yes, but anyway. Alright. Get that stuff out of the way. Alright. few more here we've got a little flat wagon by the looks of this oh yeah one of the drop deck wagons 41917 or trying R one one eight R two one three, made in England. Jesus, I don't know who's been doing this, but the heavy handed with the glue, because you can see, look at all the glue in there. It just glues everywhere. So he's put the glue on there, and it's gone everywhere. And they've um, there was a coupling there, I'd say, and they've gone back and changed it and put it on the truck. A bit weird, isn't it? But anyway, see there was couplings on it of some description. Always cut it out, thinking might do it, but hasn't done it. And then they've gone for truck-mounted couplings in there. Hmm. Okay. So you've got a lot of glue marks there. That whatever it was was been pulled off. It's left all the paint and the glue. So. CR on that side, it says. 
Does it say? I don't know. It did say T. Possibly R there. So, not, not a bad little flat wagon. No. Dropping bubble wrap on the floor. Here's another one of those carriages. Passenger wagons or carriages, as I called them before. This video is, is nothing but unwrapping things, isn't it? Unwrapping bubble wrap. Here we go. There's another one. Definitely the same person. Heavy handed with the silver paint and the red paint. That's alright. It'll all match each other, so that's fine. So they'll all look the similar, so that'll be fine. Plastic wheels. KD couplings. Missing the um rails at that end but it's got the rails at this end another set of KD here I can actually see the springs loose in that coupling but I'm not going to touch it right now because if I touch it now I'm likely to lose the spring so I'll leave that for another time a bit of weight actually in these carriages though all right next one Um, looks like two more containers on the wagon. I actually bought a whole lot from this guy. I think there's two boxes worth. Or, or maybe the other day, the other lot was the second box of stuff that I got. Because I do know I bought a fair bit from this guy. And I did... Um, I bought some stuff and I asked him to hang on till the other stuff was, was sold. Because it was like couple of days apart and I said if you can hang on I'll pay for it all when it all together and tally it all up so that's what I think this is this is this lot and that was the other lot the other day so the Hapo Lloyd container see painted it red again so um, whoever it is they've had a go at painting but um, a little bit heavy handed but that's it that's okay a few wisps of cloth on here KD's fitted to the wagon, plastic wheels, metal under there looks alright, plastic wheels, bit of a ding there, oh what's happened there, see that, see what's happened there, real ding, somebody's dropped it or something along there, you can see, a bit of fluff all over that wheel, just under there. Get my tweezers and I'll rip that out straight away so we don't put it anywhere. Oh, it's all over it actually, it's in the side there as well. It's all over that wheel, so I'll give that wheel a good once over before I put it on the track. But um, that looks alright, they all roll okay. And another reddish colour, so I'd say it's another passenger carriage. Can't remember how many there were. There was a five or six, I think. Well, there's three in the last video, and there's three more there plus this one. Makes four, so that's seven all up. I think a few. Yep, same, same silver. Same paint job, KD's on the carriage, glue everywhere, this one's had a bit of a hard life, oh. <laughs> somebody's maybe tried to break in, <laughs> broken glass or the plastic is in here in the doorway, and that handrail again is a bit bent, so somebody's a little bit heavy handed when they're dealing with some of these, but that's what it is, and then River Rossi made in made in Italy for AHM so there's plenty of glue in. I think these are green so you can see green but then there were yellow here see we've got yellow yellow green green 
bit of yellow over here. So um, I think they might have changed a few colours actually. <laughs> KD's at that end and KD that end. So yeah, it's not bad looking wagons, but uh, some people might strip them down and take all the paint off them and everything. I'll just leave them as they are because I'm not very good at that with all that sort of stuff but whoever it was that was painting it was um, quite a bit heavy handed I can actually see some green up in there I don't know whether you can see it but there's green paint in there so it was definitely green at some stage like there and then there's yellow so it, possibly yellow originally then green over the top I don't know but anyway So we've got another reddish looking thing. Is this a wagon or is it another passenger carriage? Can't tell. I think this could be a container by the looks of that. Possibly. Yep. So that's a container by the looks of that. Yep. nice container that one. Oh yes that's this is a kit one because you can see that they've actually cut it out or it's cut out for the metal plate all the way along there and then it drops and then the container goes on top. Not a bad looking container. Nice bit of weight in it which is good. And it uh, says power line made in Australia. So woohoo us Aussies. So once again, they've cut the end of the couplings off and and put KDs on it. And you can actually see it here. They've left the plastic piece on it here. So um, that's very interesting. Because that won't turn that way or that way. And if that gets caught, it's a bit silly actually. So that truck actually is on an angle permanently. I'll have to take that off and change that around. And I dare say that that's got the whisker coupling. No, it's had it's had a whisker cup. Oh, it's got the metal, the brass casing on the inside, number five. And they've done something to it, or they've melted it, and the whisker's out. the The side of the bracket is sticking out the side here. So um, somebody's been been very heavy handed with this one but anyway that's another container and the last one from this box is I'd say it's another container wagon because you've got dark dark and brown so let's have a look at this one Like, it's like on you see on TV the doctor's in there with his knife and he's cutting the skin away from the person when you see the autopsies and stuff like that it's like yeah watch him cut it open all right now this one's actually got the brake wheel on the end of it so that's kind of good although it's on a bit of an angle needs a bit of TLC I'd say somebody's just put these on these don't think these go with it but anyway it's a nice flat wagon KDs plastic wheels I'd say it's another kit one doesn't say who buy this time but anyway plastic wheels and the foot holes missing foot bracket there it's got it everywhere else freight ACL Atlantic containers and freight whatever on this one so, um, yeah, I'd say that they're just glued on. But, yeah, another few containers. But that's quite good. I'm quite happy with that. Oh, there it is. I've just found the foot piece. So that's the other thing is when you're un opening up your packages, always check and, and be careful when you do open them up and stuff because um, you do get to find the pieces. So I'll leave that. I'll put that over to one side in my repair, needs repair section. Alright, 
We'll just check them there, see if there's nothing else in the bottom of that. Nope. I'm actually going to open up another box. So, here we go. I've pre-opened it. Well, I've undone the sides of it, make it a bit easier and a bit quicker. So, let's get into this, so we'll see what's in this. And it is... Says Mainline Railways, and it is a box in a box and a box. Authentic double O gauge pellet toy, and it says nothing there, nothing there. And it says, Oh, here we go 57 brake corridor coach, cream and cream crimson. All right, let's open this up and have a look. But I know for a fact it's not what it says on the box because it should be. Aha! See, the box lies. It tells lies, I tell you lies, it says. I tell you lies. And it is a piece of paper, it says. Hang on, let's, no, we don't want people looking at this. No, just a piece of rubbish. All right, we have tender. Not bad looking, little tender. Bit of blue tack, <laughs> bit of blue tack inside of it. To give it a bit of weight because there's no weight in that whatsoever at all so um i might have to put some weights in that because there's definitely no weight in that at all and nice little 260 all right nice little loco nice little steamer Four six four hundred. We've got the buffers. We've got the four six four hundred on the front. All the linch all that linkage gear looks okay. And looks okay on this side. And we see if there's any details. Yes, we've got detail in the front there. So just give it a little battery test after we get this one off now i won't run it on the track because i want to check it all over first but um you can see here straight away i can see that that brush is all oh, it's touching there and touching there and we've got someone soldered it there and it goes all the way along and touches there so Not sure what's going on there, but anyway, let's give it a test, and away she goes. Look at that. Turn it around. Yep, she's a run-up. That's good. So I'm quite happy with that. Not a bad-looking little loco, actually. Quite nice detail. I'll just have to check those um, contacts again before I run it. But everything looks quite nice. So um, there we go. Nice little 060. Um, 260. And tender behind it. So put that together and um, yeah. Doesn't look bad at all actually does it? What do you think? How does that look? And there we go, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that lovely sort of stuff. And um, I'll give these a once over and give them a check and everything before I put them on the track. But um, thanks for watching.